Hi. Hello. How are you? Hmm? I'm good. Yeah. That's very good. Yes, yes. What happened? Your net is slow, I think. It is, yeah. Um, one minute. Let me see if I can do something. <laughs> Yeah, the internet isn't great here, but um, hopefully. <laughs> In our session, it happens. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm used to it. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, so, so, yeah, I'd love uh, I'm, I'm to get your opinion. This conversation because this is very okay. difficult question you asked to me, and I want to everybody know when I will share these details with you. And this is the very important detail that you're asking me. So now you can ask me that question and I will try my best to reply you for your satisfaction, for your knowledge. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to know was, is there any significance in having visions of different deities? So um, I'll, I'll take you through kind of what, like step by, like what happened with them. So the first, the first one was uh, probably around 12 years ago when I was still like navigating my spiritual journey and I was still learning how to meditate and things like that. I didn't, I, I didn't know how you did it basically. And I, I thought I had to just like clear all my thoughts, you know, and that's what I had to do, just go and sit down and all my thoughts would disappear. And obviously that's not how it works. So I was getting really frustrated with myself because my mind was very, very busy. And I remember I, I, I opened my eyes and I was just like, I just wish my mind would clear just for a fucking second. And I shut my eyes and then Ganesh was there, just there in front of me. And he had two ladies dancing around him where, where, like, um, and they were waving these bits of cloth and they were dancing around him. So I like observed him and my mind became very still then, of course, because I was looking at him and I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> um, the second one was when I was walking down the street and I was just walking, no, you know, nothing, just, just walking down the street. And then Jesus appeared to me in my third eye. And I kind, I kind of dismissed it actually a little bit. And then later on that evening, I went to my friend's house and we were pulling oracle cards, you know, just those. And um, I pulled a card that said um, Christ consciousness and that Christ is a representation of divine love. And he's actually come to me a few times since then to help me work on my inner child stuff. The third, the third one was Shiva. He came to me every day for about two or three months when at the start of 2019 when I was meditating and he would just come and just look at me <laughs> basically. Um, just he was just there just and it, again it's like third eye vision but it was very very clear like it, it wasn't imagination it was a vision it wasn't like I was I was premeditating it it came to me you know and then fourth was Lakshmi and she appeared in my heart um and made me go very very I went very very soft and then I've had um yeah I've since since then um, I've had a, a much deeper connection with my period, with my menstrual blood. Like I feel it's like a very, very sacred thing. And um, I really honor my blood now ever since that happened. And it, I, I, I was in the bathroom. I was just going around my daily business. Then all of a sudden, a lotus flower appeared in my heart and out luxury pops, she just comes out and just kind of touches me with some magic. And then I just was like, oh, just really soft. And, and so, yeah, I'm just... I don't really know what this thing, what, what this means. And uh, I have spoken to other people about it. I went to, um, I said, Maha Shivarati, is that how you pronounce it? In London, actually. And I was speaking to people about it there at the temple and they, and they were saying, wow, that's a really big deal. Other people were saying, oh, it's not a big deal. So I'm just a bit like, oh, I don't really know. So I'd, I'd love to get your opinion on it. No, they both are right and they both are right and it's a beautiful yeah. thing also and it's a neutral thing too i want to give you a very beautiful and deep brief so listen it wisely and try to understand it but don't go yeah. in a negative zone it's just a, <clears throat> it's just a experiences just take it like that <clears throat> 
I will ask you some questions and then I will start. Have you ever seen before that the Ganesha symbols, Shiva symbols, have you ever been saw yourself before that, before seeing these images in your meditation or in your appearance? Have you what, ever, have been? I ever seen them? Yes, have have I ever what? Ever? the symbols, the symbols I'm talking about, the paintings, the symbols like this. Have you ever been seen before? You seen um, I, I, I have not 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 really. I mean, like maybe like a few pictures on the internet, but nothing, not not really. No, how you like recognize? Really... I, I want to know how you recognize this is Ganesha, this is Shiva, this is Lakshmi. In that sense, I'm asking you. Have you ever okay, been so, through so, that? Okay, so by the, by the time Lakshmi came to visit, I I had already it been um that I, I that that was last year, I think. So so yeah by that point i had already started looking into these deities a little bit more um i recognized them from the internet yeah but i but i didn't know anything about them like i didn't know anything before, about Ganesh. after that you start yeah. searching about it or before you know that uh, uh afterwards afterwards you start recognizing it yeah okay so have you ever chanted any mantra in your life related to the ganesha shiva lakshmi jesus have you ever chanted yeah, after, after after it happened yeah okay after that you start before that you done nothing no before 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 the visions nothing nothing at all that's very good so it's you know it's it's a very good thing too but it's it's a random thing you know everybody never feel these things in my journey because in india it's common because if scientifically we go we are not going to the spiritual and the religious way i will go with the scientific way in the beginning and then I will give you the spiritual factor too. According to the science, science is when something is in your deep inside about your past lives, about your this life, you know, whatever it could be in your deep, in your heart, in your thoughts, it pop up sometimes automatically, randomly, you know, random places, random situations, random time, whatever it could be, it pop up automatically because it's in your memory. It's feed in your memory. We are just changing vessels. We are just changing clothes. But the soul is same from the beginning till the end of self-realized. Means we are just changing the vessel. The hard drive is changed. We are just changing computers like, you know, the CPU, we are just changing. But the hard drive is same. Means all the data is same from the past lives till now. So sometimes it happens, we appears, we see something. This is the scientific way. The second way is in the religious way. They're trying to tell you something about your future, about your past or present. Through these symbols, through these images, it depends uh, what they are doing. So it's trying to tell you something about your future. <clears throat> you see three deities in Hinduism, the Ganesha, the Shiva and the Lakshmi. The Ganesha represent knowledge in hinduism the ganesha the deity of knowledge a divine knowledge and the shiva represent as a destroyer you know the destroyer of evils demons inside and out both is the destroyer the third one is lakshmi the lakshmi is all about prosperity money which represent you know the symbol represent the lakshmi prosperities and money so these three symbols are very beautifully you know we call in religious somebody see there's something going to happen in your life in a future and the jesus also he was the biggest humanitarian and he worked for humanity for love for connections he represent that I means surrendering the selfless love for humanity so these four all symbols represent positive energies, positive factors in your life. At that time, they want to tell you something because you're talking about the 12 and 10 years ago. You know, you saw that at that time, even in the last year you saw that. If you just go back, a one year back, did you see changes in your life when you saw Lakshmi? Did you feel your income increase, the prosperity start coming in your life? Did you feel that? Um...
No, 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 not 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 necessarily. Um, I feel that I I I certainly softened a bit, but I did. I don't feel like anything anything more prosperous came. Okay, you never feel that. No. What she was doing at that time when she pop up in your heart, but you said the menstrual comes at that time. You know when when you see her. So no, no, it it didn't it didn't it didn't come at the time. I'm I'm a little bit unclear because it was a it was a while ago. But when after I saw her, it made my relationship with my with my menstrual blood a lot my my period a lot better. Like I didn't yes. get as much pain. Okay. And okay. Things like that, and and I was more I'm more in tune with my body and my cycle, and it was just literally from overnight, from from seeing her to getting it my period. It was just yeah. You feel like a feminine more mm. after mm. seeing her. You start feeling more feminine inside you because it changes in your cycle. At that time, your cycle was on time. You never missed your menstrual. Um, no, it's, it's always been on time, but it used to be very, it used to be very, very, very painful. Okay, but and after not, that, it's not. Um, it's still, it, it can be, but not as much, nowhere near as much. And and I really see the blood as something very, very, very powerful now. Whereas before, I didn't. I was like a bit like I see it as something very powerful. And I do okay. ceremonies and things that, that include my blood. So, okay, so you never feel the mood swings. When during the menstrual, um, usually beforehand. Okay, but after that you start not see lots of mood swings. Even we are talking about our last session. I told you the even the menstrual part. When I share with you in the session, the woman feels sometimes during the menstrual yeah. they feels lots of mood swings. You know, sometimes sad, bad, instant changes in the mood swings. You know, one by one. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, you, it's, us it's, us it's usually uh, before my period, so premenstrual, not during my period. Okay. So these yeah. are the present to these things, you know, the Ganesha, it's all about the knowledge. Maybe in a future, it represent, and it's very rare, you know, you, because you are from the Western countries and even you don't aware about these deities because actually, you know, the Hinduism present nowadays wrongly. I read those things, the symbolic devotion based on science. Symbolic, I mean, it is, they are symbolic. There is a symbol and symbol behind knowledge, behind energy, behind others expect about that. So Ganesha means knowledge. If you see a symbol of Ganesha with a long nose, like an elephant face with a big tummy, and you know he's very slow he's very knowledgeable and he eat a lot he loves sweets at that time and he very calm you know he's very calm <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm talking about uh, the knowledge behind the symbols you know because it's scientific but, but india nowadays you know they are just doing devotion you know like that it's not scientific the hinduism based on science every ritual every culture based on science every you know the season that we celebrate every festival based on science in india but nowadays because of lack of knowledge uh, it's represent like a fiction now you know incredible india the people called but it's totally fiction now because there is no science behind it but who has a knowledge who who read the vedic books who who read the holy books you know who take a you know uh, knowledge through the divine teachers they know everything is scientific so when I see, even I saw, everybody saw those symbols, this expect ready to the future. It means you are in the journey. You are on the journey. That's why they are trying to guide you about your mm. futures. If you don't know, so you cannot understand what's going on in my future. That time you need a teacher. You need a divine teacher who can tell you when you see these things. So you can ask after that. So what's going on? So he will or she will tell you about this thing you need to do now. You need to start these things and you will see changes then. Because we need to, they are trying to guide you something to change something in your life. Change something in your lifestyle and then you will see a very beautiful results in your life. This is the expert of when you are in a journey. When you've done your journey, when you self-realize yourself, who you are, when you feel it, 
when you realize itself then it doesn't matter then it doesn't matter what you are seeing because your journey is over because every symbol every vessel like you me and others it's over because now you are living in the reality now you are going to the reality but after self realization you are start living in the reality this make difference so then there is no symbols available there is no jesus there is no buddha there is no ganesha there is no shiva there is no shakti nothing only i am exist i am everything that's why at that moment i can say that i am everything means the energy exist in a simple way between you and me and other creatures also we have lots of differences materialistically the color language place city country food habits nature past life thoughts the loving habits whatever it could be is different between you and me every single thing but one thing is common between you me and other creatures what is that that is soul that is energy it's same even in the tiger even in the lion even in the birds even in other creatures too that is same so when you connected with the ocean the drop we are drop of the ocean and drop connects to the ocean and merge in the ocean it's become ocean you cannot separate that drop now because it's merged and it's become ocean now so we are we all are a part of the ocean a small drop and our journey to merge in the ocean just like rivers we are all are rivers and we need to merge in the ocean when river merge in the ocean it's become ocean now you cannot tell this is river then it's become ocean already and you cannot separate them and this is the beauty of spiritual path that is our journey on it it means we are on the path and we need to reach there where to merge in the universe to become universe seven chakra you have seven chakra universe have the same there is no di- di- different between you and the universe no nothing everything is same so when one by one all chakra merged root to root sacral to sacral you know we have a small vessel so we have small chakras small energies universe has very big vessel so universe has very big chakras energy points so when these energy point connect just like a charger you connect the charger on a charging point and you can charge your mobile with the small pin without that connector you cannot charge your phone you need that connection that connector the same thing happen between you and the universe we need that connector who can connect us when we are connected we start receiving energies we can charge ourselves anytime anywhere it doesn't matter so what you are seeing it was just a part of your life it means they are trying to tell you something they are trying to guide you something about your spiritual path otherwise you cannot think like this you have something in your past lives you have something in your past you know years that's why they are trying to show you some light in your dark path yeah uh-huh. that's why we are both are connected i i, I think that with with um with, with shiva he def- that definitely pushed forward my interest in tantra because I, i i had a, i had my my best friend was very very um involved in in it and she introduced me to it a little bit but i kind of pushed it away because i was a bit scared of it actually and um then I, did, i i i didn't understand it i didn't understand what it was and then after shiva came to to see to visit me i started looking into it more and then i started going to tantric events and I, then i met someone who was very very similar to that energy and he helped me for a year he taught me more about it he helped me with like taught me yoni massage and things like that and, and linga massage and um and i i don't work with him anymore we 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 still, we still talk but we don't work together anymore um but i met him at a tantric event and he had he had a very very shiva like kind of divine masculine presence you know um yeah so i really feel that seeing him every day she was coming to me every day for those few months that really pushed me forward into looking into tantra and look going into this path um 
Yeah, yeah. And that's I really why. Feel that was, you know, that's yeah. why you choose this path. And you, whatever yeah. you learn, it's just a 10% of the, the real, the ancient tantra. I mean, the classic tantra, you learn the 10% part. It means it connects with the physical. The physical tantra, it's a 10% part. And the other part is 90%. It means yeah. the merging. Merging of yeah. divine pleasures. I mean, your right is the masculine, left is your feminine. When they merge in the oneness, in your center line, that we are mm -hmm. working together in the center line, then it's become yeah. complete. Yeah. Then it's become totally complete in you. And you will see changes everywhere. You know, when they start merging each other, slowly, slowly, percentagely, you will feel the changes are coming in you, in the physically, mentally, and spiritually, in a trinity. It's a trinity. Divine mm -hmm. masculine, feminine, and the supreme energy, we are merged together like this. Feminine, masculine, and become one. Up. Like this. This is the trinity symbol of a Shiva Shakti. That I told you when I do my taste, so I give you this posture. Why? Because it's a oneness. Upside. Mm -hmm. We become one. Because our journey to become one. We have a two mm -hmm. paths. Like a breath. You inhale and exhale. You inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale with the both nostrils. With the breath technique, you know, with the long Himalayan breathing monks techniques, it's become one. Means there is no pause. You will find. Means right now your circle like this. Your breathing circle in the body like this. But when I will activate your energies and the Kundalini and the Chakra powers, your circle will be like this then. Because now it's traveling in the Kundalini and the Chakra, in the spine, in the root, through crown. So I don't think so. I will give you this knowledge on it. I already made a video on it, the very deep knowledge about the Kundalini, how Kundalini works and how Chakra works, how energy point works. It will work like this. It means you are start creating your cosmic circle now. Cosmic energy circle start working. Now your astral body can travel with the power, with the fuel of cosmic energy. Cosmic energy is the fuel for the astral body. Just like when you are in a dream. When you are in a dream, in a deep sleep, so you receive energy through the universe. Automatically, every single person, without doing anything. It's a natural law of the universe. When we are in a deep sleep, so we receive energy to heal uh, ourselves. When you sleep, you healed. It means you relaxed. It's not about the sleeping. It's all about the relaxation. Your mind is not working. There is no thought. That's why you're feeling healing. The same thing we do in the meditation. We, what we do? We try to do relax our thoughts and mind. In the beginning, what I said, just shut down. When you shut down your mind and thoughts, you automatically connect it. Because of the mind activation, because of the thoughts activation, you feel disconnected. But in the sleep, lots of people feel their mind still working. In the sleep also. Mind doing chatter, 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 chatter all the time. Even they, when they wake up, they realize, oh my God, I had no good sleep. Still, I have a pain in my head. Why? Because they are not sleep well. That's we do, the deep sleeping sessions. It's, it's all related to the Tantra. Tantra means complete journey. To enjoy both worlds, physical and spiritual, together mm -hmm. with the awareness. That's why mostly people choose this part, but... They only focus on the 10 to 20 percent uh, tantra. They forget 80 percent. We start with the physical and we reach to the spiritual because they enjoy instant pleasure of physical. Instant. It's instant. You know, you're feeling hungry, you eat, you, you feel pleasure. You're feeling thirsty, you drink, you feel pleasure because it's, it's instant, it's physical. But spiritual comes slow, very slow. You need to mm -hmm. crawl, you need to mm -hmm. understand. Because when you're done with your physical pleasure and understand that, it's a temporary. The senses pleasure is temporary, but it's nectar. It is also the part of the nectar, but it's temporary. It's become poison after that. But if you're working together, means physical and spiritual, it's become permanent. Because now you know how to achieve that again and again. How to lift that energies. In the beginning, we work on the blockages open. Means deep healing. If there is trauma, so we try to heal that first. Then we try to 
open the blockages so energy can travel easily and you can connect better so after that when opening all the blockages in the energy points and you healed with your past traumas then energy works then you feel the divine connection with your own energy points you will feel every lotus is opening inside me every single lotus root to crown we don't have only seven chakra points means energy points we have 114 energy points in our body so mostly people mostly 95% people globally they are working only on the seven chakra points and one kundalini because they don't have knowledge about other chakra points and the kundalini power you are more powerful you can connect any time with different dimensions and different frequencies when you practice right without coding you know if you don't know my country code you your call cannot connect with me cannot if you change one number you cannot connect means you don't know that frequency what is frequency if you want to listen something on the radio you have to set your frequency on the right number if you set right number you start listening the right song the same thing happen in an energy point if you want to connect with the different dimension you have to set frequencies right mm-hmm. uh, now i understand that yeah, yeah yeah then you can channelize this is called channeling you can channelize right things and you can get information automatically you will ask question and you start receiving answers yeah no i i get that i i'm i'm i am connected anyway i get i get um, a lot of downloads from mm-hmm. different beings things going on i don't know what's, what it is yes but i've had been i've been having that for years ever since i was a child i get visions and downloads and things but i used to, i used to block it off because it scared me <laughs> but um <laughs> no but you don't now, need to scare you start need to play but when i was a, when i was a child i was like i what understand is, I, I, i i i used to have premonitions i had i i would see things in my mind and then it would come true and that really scared me when i was a child it happened with lots of people there is a so, you know there is so, a department um, in nasa there is a department in nasa i cannot disclose that name because i'm also a part of it so globally who can channelize things who can yeah. predict futures huh. they submit their future prediction on that page for the nasa globally all over the world peoples i'm also the part of it i have one of friend my from my india mumbai she's also the part my journey is different she so uh, different things you know like accidents blast killings yeah. this kind of a things she predict i never see that you know because i i understand you know i channel myself what to see what to know so i don't interested to seeing rapes <laughs> blast killings i am not interested to see that so i saw something like covid 19 i predict already i submitted uh, before that in 2019 june i submit that lots of people other they submitted the this kind of uh, you know the panamedic going to happen and it will over after 31st of october it will over globally slowly slowly we will rewind it you know we we'll start working on it after 31st of october till that this year yeah this year this year we are in a second phase we all are in a second phase the world is going to change thoughts the mm-hmm. spiritual powers will activate it so much in those two years and they will working hard on it and the golden period will come the golden period will come in 2030 2035 after 10 years the golden period will come for humanity for human peoples so these thing happens <laughs> yes and it's, it's a golden period <laughs> and who will work on this time who will work on this time who will practice on this time so they will enjoy that period that's why lots mm-hmm. of people connecting that's why lots of people working hard to understanding something about spirituality spirituality is different religion mm-hmm. is different you know? spirituality is all about your soul your energies about your reality i know i understand yeah but mm-hmm. uh, if you working on it you will see the life is changing like you rising up the sunny day in the summer you know if you see a sunny day in the summer is different if you see sunny day in the winters it different you can enjoy sunny day mm-hmm. in the winters but you cannot enjoy sunny day in the summer so you will rise like you are in the winters and you rising up very beautiful energy is coming inside you very pleasing the sunny day in the summer like you seeing 
a very negative, you know, the future predictions and, and, and you channelism, channelize. They cannot channelize. It's a God gift, just like you. It's a God gift. Lots of people I like don't you. Understand, I don't understand what you mean. You're saying a, a sunny day in the summer is, ba is bad. What? I, I, you can't enjoy a sunny day in the summer? Are you, are you trying to use an analogy? Because I'm not understanding what you're meaning. Oh, you know, in the summer, you know, if, if you see in India, the temperature is in the sunny day in the summer is like 45 degrees Celsius. Oh, okay. So I was I was thinking of English summer <laughs> where it's like 20 degrees, no, 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 25 no. degrees that is, that is or winter. something. That is winter. Yeah. In India. <laughs> uh, no, no, summer. <laughs> no, okay. in, the, in okay, the winter. I get it. The winter, you know. So okay, that's you're, what, you're talking like a, about India. Okay. Yeah, just like you're talking about, okay. you, know, you are in a desert. You are in a desert mm. and the big sunny day and you cannot accept that for yourself. It's very hot. No. You know, it's it's giving you pain. The sun is same, yeah. but the climate change, atmosphere, time change. That's why you're feeling bad. And in that atmosphere, the same thing happened with those people just like you. From your childhood, you're seeing this because of your past lives. But you didn't work on it. That's why you are not capable to change it. Like my friend, she never worked. She's uh, from a from the childhood, like eight years. She was eight years old, and she's doing this. She prediction. Even she said, "I try to see something good. I'm not capable because she didn't learn that. She see all the time negative things, all the time negative. The planes going, the bloods happen, the killing, the war. You know, all the time she saw like this. Even she's in India with the government. You know, the Indian government. She predict." She work on the cases, the lots of cases. She try to, you know, reveal it. Who is the killer? Mm -hmm. So she work. Lots of people they do, globally. But it's a hidden. It's a hidden. So now you working. When you start working, so you understand the difference between what I need to do, what I need to leave it, what I need to stop. Because of learning, because of understanding. It's an art like a painting. Tantra is the art. You have to learn. Everybody cannot become oh, okay. a painter. Yes, it's art of living, art of dying, art of pleasure, art of connection, art of love, mm -hmm. art of spirituality. I, know, I, I understand that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. people need to learn this. You cannot become painter you know if you're doing something in your childhood and you said yes i'm a good painter no the painter is all about a deep understanding and the feelings otherwise you cannot paint beautiful the color is same the paintbrush is same the canvas is same but you cannot do that it's only up to you how deep you are how deeply you are connected how deeply you can express how deeply you can explore, then you can paint something incredible. The same thing happened in the Tantra. The lots of people, they are teaching a basic of it. Means they are giving you a taste of honey, a drop of a honey. And I'm trying to give you the ocean of a honey. So it makes you different. You know, when you see a big journey of the rainbow, you know, big journey and you are living in the rainbow world it makes you different you know the people see rainbows after rain but who are living in the rainbow world all over is colors blissfulness good peoples love connections respect honor compassion care these kind of energies traveling